It is Sunday afternoon, Bible story time with Chesley and Karen. That's right, Chesley, and we're happy to be here today. And do we ever have a good story today? I ain't telling you what. It's tells it out, telling the truth. I tell you what, being a truth teller, my K of the truth teller, that is the title of our story. <laughs> Did I need to sing my theme song? Yes, you do. And Chesley, I wonder what they think about your hat. This is two weeks in a row, no one said a thing. to think I look handsome? Well, I think you look handsome. Now, this is not happy hat. Your happy hat, yes. This is your happy hat, and we're glad to see you have it on. I think it looks really cute. I think I'm handsome. Well, Chesley, you're really not supposed to be talking about how handsome you are. Well, it just is the fact, and I just have to tell them. Well, Chesley, let's don't get into that. Let's talk about good things, Chesley. Let's talk, well, that's a good thing. Well, Chesley, let's sing your theme song. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging at the train, it's chugging at the train. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging to the glory land. Get on board, it's gospel train. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Chesley, who can go? Is it just certain people, certain ages, or if you got so much money, or uh, if you're from a certain country? Oh, no. It's anyone who wants to live for Jesus. Anybody that wants to live for Jesus. And that should be every one of us. It is great to love the Lord and to serve Him. Chesley, our story now. Let's get into our story time. Oh, Chesley, in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, verses 13 through 27. You know, I tell you what, this is going to be a good one because it's about telling the truth or telling lies. That's Chesley. Uh, you know, we always have choices like that, to tell the truth or to tell lies. Always tell the truth. Chesley, that is true. You can't lose when you tell the truth. And you can't win. If you tell lies, you're going to get in trouble. It'll catch up. It'll catch up. Every single time. Now, Chesley, it had been some time had passed between Syria and Israel. They hadn't had any wars. And so here had gone three years. And so what What happened? There was Jehoshaphat. He was a good king. Was he the guy that hid then? He was the guy that sometimes made quick decisions and he didn't think it through. And he would wind up in some trouble because he didn't always choose good things. He didn't always choose good friends. That's right. Chesley, is it important that we have good friends? Do they have any uh, impact on our life at all? And, and I tell you what, uh, you, you have them and they can get you in trouble. Uh, I know it can get you in trouble. And, and sometimes they will influence you or they'll talk to you to do something. Now, did you know it's not right? And you go ahead and do it. And ooh, it's, it's not good. It's not good. You wind up in trouble, wind up having real issues. So, Chesley, it's just better to do the right thing. But in this case... Here come, he was, he was had a, a family member, and it was another king, and, and I don't know who it was. It was wicked, wicked Ahab, and how in the world, why he would get and marry into that family, I don't know, but he did. And so here he is now, and so he's visiting now with Ahab, and, and I don't know what it was. Ahab said, uh, you know, I want you to go to war with me. He's, that's what he said. He said, you know what? He said, I want you to just go to war with me. He said, would you go uh, to war with me? But I said, oh, but he said, we need to, uh, uh, you know, if we need to just take those people out. He said, if I have you to help. And, 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 and Jehoshaphat said, he didn't even pray. He didn't pray. He just said, well, I'll sure do it. Why well, my people are, are, are as your people. Why, well, just like that. And then after he had said that, you know, he got to thinking it down and, and, and he knew something he didn't do. He did not even pray about it. He didn't talk to the Lord about it. He didn't ask any of the, the prophets. And so, but after he got to thinking, oh, 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 maybe this is a bad decision. It's a little late to say that, and I'm glad he said it. It's late to say it, but I'm glad he said it too. And so he's, and Ahab said, well, I sure not. I have, well, what he, Jehoshaphat had said, and he prophets of the Lord. But what he, he brought out instead you know what Ahab brought out? Now, I know who it was. It was those false prophets of Baal. The false prophets of Baal. It was about 400 of them. And they said, go up. Go up. The battle is yours. You know, they said, you're going to win. You got it. And they, they didn't. Why? They didn't know what they were talking about. You know, Chesley, you find out if a prophet is true or not, if what he says comes true. Well, I tell you what, uh, if, if these guys, are, they're false prophets. These guys are false prophets, the prophets of Baal. Well, I tell you what, Jehoshaphat, do you think he was happy about this? I, I think he was getting nervous. He was nervous. And he was thinking, I've made a bad choice here. I, I spoke before I had thought about this. And, and, and you know, that's something to think about. Uh, you need to, before you answer, you need to know what you're talking about. That's right. Before we answer, we need to know what we're talking about. We need to make sure it's the right choice. And he is now in a fix. You know, I think he's saying, oh, what am I going to do now? And, 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 and then I think he had a thought. 
Then he had this thought. Well, there's 400 of these prophets, but he said they were the, of the false prophet Baal. And he said, is there not a prophet here, a prophet of the Lord? He had, he'd asked for a prophet of the Lord. Instead, he got these 400 prophets. That's what, that's the ones that, that old wicked Ahab wanted. And Jehoshaphat was getting nervous. Oh, he made a damn choice, and now he is paying for it. <laughs> yes, he was. He made a bad choice. And so what happens now? Well, King Ahab said, well... There's one out there. His name's Micaiah, and I don't like him. <laughs> Why wouldn't you like him? He said, he always says things I don't like. And he said, I, I, I don't want to hear him. And did you know something? If he tells you the truth, that's a good thing. But you know what? Ahab didn't always want to hear the truth. He wanted to do things his way. He, he wanted everybody to agree with him. That, 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 that if it's not right, if it's not good, you know, if it's not God's plan. He wasn't interested in God's plan. Jehoshaphat was, well, Jehoshaphat is now, he realizes he's made a bad choice by agreeing to go with this man, other king, into battle. And now he says, and he's, but my prophets have prophesied. They said, go ahead and go, we'll win. Jehoshaphat just wasn't comfortable. So he said, well, all right. So get, get Micaiah. So he had one of his chief guys. Go get Micaiah and have him come. No, oh, I tell you what. And, and, and when, what, did, what did he say when he got there? I can hear him now. He probably said, now you say what the other said, or I'm going to gouge you. I'm going to gouge you. Well, I don't know about that. But what he did say to him said, now this is what's happened. And all 400 prophets, they've all said go. That's what they said. Go, because the Lord's going to give the victory to Ahab. And, 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 so, and, and he said, now can you, you say the same thing. That's what he said. You just be in agreement now. You you just do that. And you know what Micaiah said? Oh, I think Micaiah, uh, I think, did he get scared and his knees were shaking? I don't think his knees were shaking. He just knew the answer. He was a true prophet of God. He said, whatever God tells me to say, that's what I'm going to say. No, oh, you can't lose when you do that. That's the right thing to do, whether you win like here, maybe. Sometimes he didn't always appreciate it. But that's the right thing to do because you'll be rewarded in heaven. That's right, Chelsea. You'll be rewarded in heaven. And so here, let me think, guy, and what's, what's going on down there while they're waiting? While they're waiting, here come a man, and he got all this big old iron horns he'd made, and he said, this is what you're going to do. You're going to drive out the enemy with these. So they was just telling King Ahab, it's all good. It's smooth going. You got it, me. 400 prophets, and now this guy. And then here comes Micaiah, and he said, Micaiah, what do you say? This is a situation. And Micaiah just, he just kind of almost flippantly just laughed and said, go ahead and go. He said, oh, just go ahead and go. Oh, made Ahab angry. And he said, you tell me the truth. That's what he said. The Bible said that's what he said. I, you tell me the truth. You, and so Micaiah did. And, and the king told him, what God had told him, that he saw him like sheep scattered. That's what he said. I saw all of your people here just like sheep scattered without a shepherd. No. Oh, and he got so mad. He said, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? He just tells me bad things. He wasn't saying bad things. He was trying to help Ahab avoid being killed. He gave him the right answer. Do not go. You don't need to go into battle. These people aren't after you. You should just stay where you are. Now, did you know what I found out about this guy? Well, what'd you find out about this guy, this King Ahab? He didn't want the truth. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. And you was just supposed to say what he wanted to hear. That's what he wanted. And those 400 prophets did. Then it was all of them lies. It was a bunch of lies. And so what he said, he was so angry with, with Micaiah. And he told Micaiah, he said, I want you. And he said, to this man, you take him back and you put him in prison, and he's supposed to be there and get nothing but bread and water till I return. But you know what, Chesley? It turned out just like Micaiah said. They never should have gone into battle. Jehoshaphat, he was really scared. And you know, because Ahab had a plan. He said, You know, I'm not going to dress like the king, I'm not going to have my robes on and all of this. He said, I'm just going to look like an ordinary soldier. And he said, that way they won't, they'll, they'll just leave me alone. Well, what had happened, the kings had said, we're only going to fight after we want one person, and that's Ahab. And so they're looking for those robes. They're looking for those kingly robes. That's what they're looking for. Well, Jehoshaphat has his kingly robes on. No, and he's going to get shot. He's 
in trouble. He's not going to have the chance. But you know, Chesley, God knows who's who. And here they came after Jehoshaphat. And he started screaming and crying. I'm not the man. No, no, no. I'm Jehoshaphat. I'm sure he was shouting. I'm Jehoshaphat. And probably those in his chariot were saying, this is Jehoshaphat. This is, this is not Ahab. Well, finally the people, they said, well, this, this, this isn't the king. Uh, this isn't King uh, Ahab. This is Jehoshaphat. So they turned away from him. You know, so he almost lost his life because he made a quick decision. He shouldn't have, he made a quick decision. He was a good king most of the time, but he was care uh, not careful about his friends. He wasn't careful. And he would have these friendships with people, close ones, that would get him into trouble. So, Chesley, we need to watch about who our friends are and because they can be a bad influence. They can be a real bad influence and get you into trouble. So now, let's hear what happened, though. This man Ahab, he was a, like a rebel. He rebelled and did his own thing, his own way. He just defied God. And, and, and you know what? I think he got killed. Uh, you know, Chesley, uh, he didn't look like... He didn't look like the king. He wasn't dressed like the king. But all of a sudden, there was a soldier said he just took his bow and he just pulled it back and just just didn't even really aim. He just shot what it did. And he went to him. And there was Ahab lost his life because he hated truth and he wouldn't abide by the truth that God had for him that would have helped him. Chesley, we can all learn from this. Follow the Lord, read God's word, and do what it says. And he comes and brings blessing. It brings blessing. That's what the Lord has for us. Good. He doesn't have bad things in store. He wants to bless his people. And Chesley, you know what? Sleep is good for us. It is a blessing. Uh, why'd you say that? I, I'm not sleepy. Well, Chesley, I know. But sleep is good for all of us. And you've been up a while. Uh, then I'm not one bit sleepy. And I've had a nap. Oh, I know you've had your nap. But how about telling everybody goodbye? And you're so happy to have been here. And you look forward to seeing them again next Sunday. The Lord willing. I look forward to being here uh, next Sunday. And uh, if you like the hat, let me know about it. And uh, I sure do love you, Chesley. Yes, we do love them. We appreciate everyone being here. Until next week, goodbye. Uh, good day. It's like it's easy. I'm going in the trunk. Chesley, you'll be fine. We'll see you next week. You'll be blessed.